beautiful night here at the Blacktop Boring. We're right about 70 degrees right now. Couldn't have asked for a better opening day here at the Boring. It was about 85 degrees, like I said earlier, and weather has just been getting increasingly better. It's finally not winter anymore, folks. You can put away the winter jackets and get ready for a nice summer. Hopefully you spend the summer here every Saturday night at the Blacktop Bullring. Don't forget next week, June 2nd, we have First Responders Night. I'm very excited to honor all of our first responders here at the Blacktop Bullring. So now we have one lap until green flag racing for the Super Sixes here at the Blacktop Bullring. Fifteen lap race here for the Super Sixes, led by <laughs> John Parthmer. As we get ready to kick the season off, he brings them to the line, and we are getting ready to go. And green flag in the air. They are down and away. And great jump for John Parthmer on the outside, though. Robert Cassidy with that undercarriage green lights, as you can see, shiny on the speedway, is going to take the lead away. Robert Cassidy is now going to try to hold off flying Brian Hell and Hell looks to the outside now and he is going to try to take the lead away immediately but to no avail Robert Cassidy holds him off for that first lap give the first one to Cassidy Hallett's going to continue to fight back, though, as they go at it right now for the lead Hallett versus Cassidy Cassidy versus Hallett best battle on the speedway right now though is the lead here he comes on the outside Brian Hallett trying to make it happen Robert Cassidy hanging tough down low and Cassidy just refusing to give in but Hallett forced his way in there Hallett up top now fighting with Cassidy Cassidy has a shorter way around the speedway but Hallett's able to get that motor revved up and fly around the high side here comes Brian Hallett give the lead to Brian Hallett but wait one second because here comes Cassidy right back at him Robert Cassidy down low, chopping at his throat. They are going at it. And now we have the number 98 of Farrow moving into the third position. So Tim Farrow doing an absolutely phenomenal job so far on that 98, moving his way through the field. And that'll move Parthmer, the defending series champion, back to the fourth position here on opening day. That battle for the lead, though, is far from over. Robert Cassidy might have lost it, but he's making sure that Brian Allen knows he is going absolutely nowhere as Hallett and Cassidy continued to race for the lead. Farrow looks on from the third position. He's pretty far back, kind of too far to strike as our leaders are coming around looking to put the number 78 of Tammy Parsons one lap down. Move Tammy out of the way. She is now one lap down here at the Blacktop Bull Ring. Next up to be put a lap down is Andy Kosilova, which is very surprising. He hasn't ran well at all today, and that's normally one of the front runners here. So. Not sure what the problem has been for Andy Kosilova on opening day, but hopefully he gets the bugs worked out and continues to run up front like we've come accustomed to him doing as we have a lot of good racing going on around the speedway. I'm really impressed right now with Robert Cassidy and how he's not letting Brian Hallett get away from him. He is keeping this battle tighter than Brian Hallett would probably like it to be. Hallett there working the outside. They're going every place that car wants to go there. As Hallett, as we said in the past there, that guy has pretty much been unbeatable. If the car's running, he's probably winning here with that six-cylinder, and that car is uh, stout just about every place it goes. A uh, two-time track champion, I believe, at the Spencer Speedway, maybe three-time there. McCassie, as we said, doing a super job here in that number 16 machine, the old Monte Carlo, trying to chase down the Pontiac. Halfway down, halfway to go. You got uh, Farrow setting in that number three spot there. Farrow, I believe, one of the first uh, track champions there for the Super 6 at the Spencer Speedway. Last year's track champion here at the Blacktop Bullring there, John Parthmer. I believe that's a Ford in the number 95 machine. So Parthmer sporting the big blue oval here against a lot of the GM. Kozilova, we said, having problems with the 93 there. New struts, new, sp new springs in the back of that car, he says, in the offseason. He goes, the old ones will be back on for next week. So... Keep your eye on the 93 for next uh, week there. But still out front, it is Flying Brian Hallett in the 36 machine, followed up by Robert Cassidy. By Robert Cassidy, excuse me, in the uh, 16 there, and then it'll be Farrow in the 98. Heck of an opening day for Robert Cassidy. One thing he raced is hanging tough in the top two right now. And unless we see a caution here, knock on wood, he looks pretty safe in that second position. It's really not letting Brian Hallett get all that far away from him. So Robert Cassidy enjoying his new home here in the six-cylinder division compared to the four-cylinder division where we saw him struggle quite often. This might be a good fit for him as another lap in the books here. And all the battles on the racetrack have seemed to simmer down. Frank Parsons is still within striking distance of Allison Neffler right now. 
But as they come down the backstretch another time, the battle for the lead is continuing to get extended. Brian Hallett doing what Brian Hallett does, and that's extend the leads on Robert Cassidy as they're going to play Andy Kosilova another lap down and just two laps to go here at the bull ring. Farrell may be closing the gap slightly here on the 16 there, but he is running out of time. White flag in the air. Helen, one more circuit around the racetrack here, and he will pick up another feature win here at the Blacktop Bull Ring. So keep your eye on the 36. He'll hit his mark, sail it back into turn three, pick the throttle up at the apex, drive it off at turn four there. 36 across the line there. So Helen picking up another feature win. Cassidy second, Farrell will be third, fourth will be Parthamer, fifth will be Knopfler. Parsons, and then it will be Chanel. And a Tammy Parsons in the 78, so everybody clean and green there, no real problems here with the Super 6 class. As the top three will head for the start finish line again. Our flag volunteers, please head to the start finish line. Our flag volunteers, please head to the start finish line for the victory circle ceremonies. So with that, uh, we will get ready to uh, start pulling the SST modified, starting to make their way here to the uh, hot lane. I see the 41, Timmy Lewis there, the 42, uh, Tony Hanbury, Jennifer Denny's 22 is getting ready to make the, their, get the scene. You've got the uh, 11 and the 66, everybody getting ready. So we're gonna set it down track side. Pete, take it away. Down track side here, a familiar sight of the Blacktop Bullring. Winner circle, Brian Hallett in the six cylinder division. We've lost Robert Cassidy. Give a big round of applause for Brian Hallett. And we're gonna catch up here with race winner, Brian Hallett. And Brian, it's getting familiar talking to you here in victory lane at the blacktop bull ring you had a good battle though there with robert casty didn't let you get too far from him how was it there racing up there with rob uh, i was good um it was nice racing with the guys around here um race real clean it was good uh other than that i mean I started getting a little faster as, as the run got on there found a little different line and let off a little earlier I have a hard time doing that sometimes um but yeah it was car handled mint and uh yeah First race of the season, did you make any changes to the car in the off season? Did you know some, get some rust off it maybe here on opening day? Honestly, all we did is put new springs in it, or new shocks and springs, and that was it. And then put it back to where it was and, and call it a day. All right, well, who do you got to thank for sponsors here and crew on this 36 machine? I got to thank my brother's uh, body shop, Hal Automotive, um, h &S Motors, uh, Ike's Welding. I got to thank my dad for all the hard work he puts in every week for these things. Uh, the girlfriend for putting up with all the, the racing nonsense. Um, I, and all the all the fans and pit crews and co-owners and, you know, everybody. All right, well, that's your race winner here on opening day, the number 36 of Brian Hallett. I think you're going to do 50-50. Oh, my God. All right, get your 50-50 tickets out and ready. Brian's going to draw the winner. I told you, And here he I can't read that. I don't get my glasses on. <laughs> I'll read it there for you. Six two three seven four four six. Six two three seven four four six. That's one hundred and forty dollars. If that is your number, you can come down here to the gate and claim your fifty fifty prize. We're gonna move down here though to our second place finisher of Robert Cassidy. And Robert Cassidy, we're down here with you. Just come over here for me. Well, Rob, it was your first race in the new division, in the new car, and you finished second, kept up with the leader. How was it out there racing with Brian for the win? It was tough. I mean, I never really had much of a challenge of other cars keeping up with them compared to last year. Last year I was always in the back with the four cylinders, but it's different. All right, well, after a great opening day, are you more excited about the six-cylinder season and how well you ran an opening day looking forward down the stretch here? Definitely. All right, well, who do you got to thank sponsor and crew-wise? Who makes it happen here for your car? Mainly number 95, uh, John Parthmer and his family. Uh, Mom, everybody else that's helped and chipped on the car. If it wasn't for all of them, I probably wouldn't be out here right now. 
All right, well, that's your second place finisher tonight, Robert Cassidy. And we're going to move right along to our third place finisher tonight, Tim Farrow. We're down here with third place finisher Tim Farrow. And Tim, it just appears like they got too far away from there in the beginning. You kind of just sustained with them. Do you think maybe we saw a caution there at the end? You had something for the top two? Uh, Brian and I race hard every time. I, um, I ran a couple races last year. Last year we got wrecked. Um, we missed a little bit. Well, we were a little tight tonight, but uh, I appreciate all the fans coming out. Um, Memorial Day weekend, this is pretty awesome to be here celebrating our great country and getting this chance to race anyway. So, car a little tight tonight. We'll dial it in and we'll get it back next time. Got you. Opening day, though. For opening day, did the car feel good? Yeah, absolutely. We practiced last night at Spencer. We had our testing tune there. And uh, I got it set up a little bit more for Spencer because we're anticipating opening day there next week. So, we have a little bit more work to do to work on a Perry setup. All right, well, who do you got to thank, sponsors and crew-wise, here on the 98? Uh, I got to thank my family. My mom and dad are in the stands. My 16-month-old uh, son is sleeping. My wife's down here. Um, it really takes an entire effort to get these cars going. Even though they're stock class, they're a lot of work. All right, well, congratulations to you, Tim. And I'm going to send it back up to the tower to Dan Turner.